Um, I totally lied to you guys, and I didn't mean to, but it was also like a complete mistake on my part. In a past video, I said that we were going to do a video on the vocal booth and how we built it. I can still do a video and tell you guys like the materials that we used and uh, how we went about it, stuff like that, because it's it's basically going to be the same thing for you guys. You're going to need the same materials, and then it's just going to be a matter of how big or whatever you know what's going to work best for your space. If you guys do it exactly like we did, you might pull it in the house and be like, "Well, crap! Now it's too big. I don't have any room in here now." So you might have to make it a little smaller. You might have some room to make it bigger. If you guys still want me to do that video, I will. <clears throat> because it's it's a pretty simple build. And it's also really effective. Also, on the flip side of that, I was rearranging the living room and like trying to give more space to our living room because I do all my audio production work right here. And I was moving some stuff around and I'm like, you know what? Uh, I kind of got a solution that is going to be a little bit better than having a giant vocal booth in the living room. So I will for sure do a video on that probably early 2020 video. You know, this might be something that you guys haven't heard of. I'm not going to say it right now because then you guys will be like, oh, well, I already know about that. So I'm not even going to watch that video. But I've got a solution for the lack of vocal dampening that I have right now. And I think it'll be pretty cool. All right. Second part of this first intro before we talk about what's going on in the title is I didn't realize how many people we're actually watching and viewing the videos because I actually don't do this stuff full time. I have a job outside of music production. <clears throat> Although I would rather do music production full time and maybe with YouTube someday we can do that. I didn't realize how many people were actually engaging in the videos and stuff because I actually wasn't signed into the RNW recording YouTube on my phone. So I wasn't getting notifications. And I think that you guys know by now that if you guys have questions, or stuff that you guys want to see in the future, you guys know that I'll jump in the comments and I'll actually acknowledge that you guys, you know, said something. This is like the very beginning of my YouTube channel now. And the support that you guys are giving me and the comments and liking the videos is, I know every YouTuber out there says this, but it, it really is a big help because the more that you like and engage in videos, the more that YouTube is inclined to actually push your videos to more viewers. So you guys sharing or commenting or liking or disliking, that stuff's all helpful to me. You know, even the dislikes are helpful. I would at least hope that if you dislike one of my videos, you can tell me constructively in the comment section why you don't like the video. I think that I got a backhanded comment a while ago on the actual demo of this microphone. I think that somebody was saying that I was a bad singer, but I think that the translation on YouTube was a little bit off because they said that I sing in the toilet. I know that I'm not a good singer, but I mean, I guess I could have paid a vocalist to come and do the demo, but I'm not making any money off of YouTube right now. So it's not really conducive for me to pay a singer. It's probably best for me to just try and hack it the best that I can, even though that might not be super pleasant. Not everybody's going to like my voice. Most days I don't even like my voice, but I'm just trying to push content out for you guys, and I hope that you can respect that. Now let's get into the main reason that you guys are watching the video. Sorry for the long uh, rant. What's going on guys? Uh, Clayton here with RNW Recording, and before we get started, I don't want you guys to jump to conclusions and think, Oh, here goes Clayton. He's going to start making toxic content, talking trash on people on YouTube, just like a lot of other content creators. That's not the case. This video is actually to brag on the company rather than trash on them, because these things happen. This was, um, I'd say, probably two months ago. I went to start working on something, and I was going to use my Warm Audio 251 that I got earlier this year. I flipped it on and I'm setting up channel strips and all that and I go through it and I'm checking the mic, you know, and I don't hear nothing. And I'm like, man, that's kind of weird. So I go and I make sure that, you know, everything's good to go. Well, the power supply was not turning on. So I said, maybe it's a bad cable. Check the cable. Cable was good. And now I'm like, oh crap. Now what do I do? So 
I figured that the mic was still under warranty, so I simply just reached out to Warm Audio and I said, hey, I'm having an issue with my 251. It's not turning on. Uh, what do I need to do? I talked to, his name is Scott Stone. Scott, if you're watching this, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for being a rock star in this situation and really helping me out. Because whenever this happened, I knew that I had a vocal session with somebody that I'm doing an album for in about three weeks. So even though for some companies they might have a quick turnaround, I've never had to send anything in with any of my warm audio gear. So I didn't know what the turnaround was going to be like. But I sent the email. Scott reached back out to me and he said, hey man, don't worry about it. I got your back. Um, just send it in and we'll take care of it. And I asked him, I said, you know, what's what's the turnaround going to be like? And he said, it's pretty quick. You know, once once we get it in, we fix it in a couple days, get it right back out to you. And that's exactly what they did, which is incredible because in the past, I've had warranty issues with some companies that I won't mention because, again, this video is not to trash on anybody, but... In the past, I've had equipment break on me that was still under warranty, still had my receipt, you know, proof of purchase, all that stuff. Some companies won't even respond to you. They won't engage the situation because I guess in their mind, they just think that it's the consumer's fault that their product broke, which in some cases it is. Some people use products the way that they're not supposed to and they get broken. And sometimes in those situations, they aren't covered by warranty. But in this situation, whenever you're using, I'm just going to go ahead and say what type of gear I was using. I was using a microphone and this is a pretty reputable company. Their microphone broke just by plugging it in. I, I think I had it a matter of four days and only plugged it in. It's not like we ran phantom power to it or, you know, put it under any sort of distress other than handling high SPL levels. And they would not even respond to me. They wouldn't acknowledge that basically, I guess they just thought that, nah, I, we didn't do anything wrong. So I guess he's out to eat the bill. I don't use those mics anymore uh, as a result of that. But you guys have to realize whenever you're purchasing gear for your studio or whether you're a musician or, you know, what have you, whenever you make a purchase like this, you're investing in the company. You want a prolonged relationship with this company as a consumer. You want to buy good products. I bought a really good product, and in return, I also bought into a company that also cares about me as a person. Whenever I have a job to do, they've got my back when something goes wrong. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. All I want to say is Scott and all the people at Warm Audio, you guys made a killer microphone. I still highly recommend anybody that's looking to buy the Warm Audio 251, I still highly recommend it. It's a great microphone. It had a little bit of a slip with the power supply, but like I said, in just a matter of days, it was sent out and back to my door and I was using it again and it still sounds incredible. So that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. I really appreciate all you guys watching my videos and uh, hope to see you in the comments section. Whoa, whoa, whoa. One last thing before the video completely ends, please like the video, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. As I mentioned in the video, the more likes, the more YouTube is gonna push it to a wider audience. And I think that I have some stuff coming up in the future that's going to help um, or just make for good content. I won't show you too much, but there's that. I've got some new mics to demo. And uh, I hope you guys have an awesome day.